Speak, Chapter 30, Field and Cord. We are studying fruit biology. Ms. Keen has spent a week teaching us the finer points of stamens and pistils, seed pods and flowers. The earth has frozen. It snows lightly at night, but Ms. Keen is determined to keep spring alive in her classroom. Back row sleeps until she points out that apple trees need bees to reproduce. Reproduce, the trigger word for the back row. They have figured out that it's related to sex. The lecture on pistols and stamens turns into a big ha-ha. Miss Keene has been teaching since the Middle Ages. It would take more than a row full of overheated hypolemus, hypolemi, to distract her from the day's lesson. She calmly proceeds to hand on portions of the lab. Apples. We each get a Rome or a Cortland or a Macintosh and a plastic knife. We are instructed to dissect. Back row holds sword fights. Miss Keene silently writes their names on the blackboard along with their current grade. She takes one point off for every minute the sword fight continues. They go from low Bs to very low Cs before they figure out what's going on. They howl. Back row. That's not fair. You can't do that to us. You didn't give us a chance. She takes off another point. They saw their apples. Mutter, mutter, curse, curse, old cow, stupid teacher. David Patakis, my lab partner, cuts his apple into eight equal wedges. He doesn't say a word. He's in the middle of a pre-med week. David can't make up his mind between pre-med and pre-law. Ninth grade is a minor inconvenience to him. A zit cream commercial before the feature film of life. Apple smell soaks the air. One time when I was little, my parents took me to an orchard. Daddy set me high in an apple tree. It was like falling up into the storybook, yummy and red and leaves and the branches not shaking a bit. Bees bumbled through the air, so stif stuffed with apples, they couldn't be bothered to sting me. The sun warmed my hair, and a wind pushed my mother into my father's arms. And all the apple-picking parents and children smiled for a long, long minute. That's how biology class smells. I bite my apple. White teeth, red apple, hard juice, deep bite. David sputters. David, you're not supposed to do that. She'll kill you. You're supposed to cut it. Do you even listen? You'll lose points. Clearly, David missed the apple tree sitting requirements of childhood. Cut the rest of my apple into four fat pieces. My apple has 12 seeds. One of the seeds is split its shell and reaches a white hand upward. An apple tree growing from an apple seed, growing in an apple. I show the little plant seed to Miss Keene. She gives me extra credit. David rolls his eyes. Allergy is so cool.